Shaving your gum, you are sexually rocking with your hip swing and first button of your shirt open to breathe because of your big even your loose clothes were not able to hide your beautiful curves. That every passing man beside you was not able to move their gaze from you. Then even it's a staff by a manager or a client customer in hotel lol. One of the men got slapped on his face from his girlfriend already because of the way he was looking at you. Well, you were about to reach the reception but soon bumped into you and you both fell off with your luggage. Do you have buttons instead of eyes? The young man talked frustratedly that made you scoff. Oh, Mr. Mister, you were one walking blindly. You both got a while flickering but felt a gaze on you as he looked up to see why we had rolled Mr. Mister. He looked embarrassed when the man in a suit came running to both of you. Oh, he is a manager. Oh, Mr. Jun Jung, are you okay? Oh, so this muscle mystery is called Jun Jung. I am okay, but please guide your ill manner customer some good manners. This man is hurting your ego now. Don't look for any redeeming qualities. I don't have any manner left. So what if I get full manners? Will I get bonus point in my life? You. Before he says something, the manager interrupts both of their bickering. Sir and ma'am, please. I was pleading to not make a fuss, so you. Both went her in way with her luggage making road face. Well, muscle man looks interesting. Damn hot but bad. You both whispered to yourselves. You entered your booked room and threw yourself on bed while thinking that why you came here. Well, Mr. Jen 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 sent me here to get relaxed. Before our new CEO will come, that must be one of his fears as he is getting retired. But being our company director, I need to know who will be the new CEO. But better, let's enjoy my vacation. You got up to open your luggage and get your clothes, but when you opened it, a Calvin Klein under WTF men t shirts, hoodies, they are not mine. You sat down, crepping your head, just then it clicked your mind. It uh, that muscle man has my luggage and I have his. You refer your hair messily that now you have to face him again with a good way of starting my vacation. I'm proud of myself. Packed the bag again and went back to reception. He complained and they told you his room number. And now you are standing with his luggage out of his room. You ring the bell and in five seconds the door got opened and you heard. Come inside and keep my dinner on the table. Wait, what did he just think? I was a hotel service employee. You controlled yourself and went inside his room as he didn't make any efforts to look behind. You placed the luggage down and saw your luggage placed on his bed. That's my luggage. Hearing your voice, he turned to witness the same girl gripping on his luggage from a while ago. WTF, are you doing in my room, bed? You picked your luggage, but he held your wrist. And where do you think you're taking my luggage? He forced the word of my luggage to clear. Listen, muscle man, don't get over my nerves. It's simple. Our luggage was switched a while ago, and I'm here to take mine, and that's yours. He gestured to him to look at the bed where you placed the bag, but he scoffed. What do you think of me, young lady? I'll fall in your trap that you are doing to get my attention. He took a deep breath to not break his long nose. Listen, mister, I don't use a Calvin Klein and or bunny printed t shirts so it will be better if you let me go with my luggage. Hearing your word, his ears turned red. That made you smirk at men standing in front of you. Okay, take your luggage. He took your luggage from his hand and proceeded to go out of his room, but he turned and said something that made the poor man blush like hell. The size of your was satisfying, no doubt. You winked and left the room, but a shameless and manless woman. He released his breath that he was holding due to embarrassment. You entered your room and changed into some comfy clothes that barely had your beautiful curves, and you laid on your bed under covers. What a boring but interesting day. By interesting, you remember muscle man and scoffed at your own thoughts. Just a son of any rich billionaire dad. Thinking about different things that drifted into your cozy slumber. The next day, while it was such a sunny day on the beach, you are wearing a Hawaiian long thing, frog with straps, and your hair were closed in a messy bun. You walked on sand without any footwear with a glass of cold orange juice in your hand. People were mostly enjoying in seashore like couples in little happy families and some were resting on big chairs. A group of guys was playing volleyball. They seemed to be college students. Never mind, you must be an aunt for them. You sipped the juice from your glossy lips until 
back. He heard his voice and turned to see the man standing in blue Hawaiian shirt, white shorts, but his shorts length but not helping to hide his thick ties. Damn. The thought of squeezing them in is compulsory but in my imagination. I know I'm hotter than this beach. He said while stretching his arm looked like he just woke up but his shirt button must be struggling. I wish I could end their struggle. He snapped after your thought when he said, Wanna ride it? Your eyes wouldn't at his sentence as your guess went down on his of my thirsty woman. I'm talking about that Chris she not my thighs poor. He said placing a shiny hand or his thighs covering them. Is there a cruise ship? I didn't notice. He made a disgusting face and said, Yeah, when your perverted mind will not focus on a stranger body, then you can focus on it. He scoffed but didn't deny it. But Chris is Chris. The boat raised ship and stood there just to see the majority of couples were riding it. He looked at her side and the man nervously grabbed his neck. I thought it was a family cruise ship. He shook your head with her. I have paid for this all. I'll ride it. You don't know why he was with you. Like, at beach and now at ship. Now left your side for a sec. You didn't mind it either. He's your type. You both decide to explore the inner part of ship. So you both enter inside but are stopped by the receptionist. Sir and ma'am, please register your name here first. Both went to her and register your name in her tab. That was if someone get lost when they come back so they can find the person easily. The ship started and you went out to see the view. It wasn't like your first time traveled in cruise ship, but this time you didn't have tension of some meetings and deal. You didn't notice the man standing beside you or staring at you while your hair was open till the middle of your back, and some strands of your hair were flying in there that was making your side profile look more ethereal. Suddenly, the man cleared his throat, probably coming out of his thoughts. Do you need a drink? No, I'm okay, you nodded and again started to get mesmerized by the view. Until the ship reached an island that was almost one her away from the beach hotel you were staying. Everyone came down to explore the beautiful island with a charismatic view of rocks and sea. Looks like this island is one of the beautiful miracles of nature, but he is a muscle man. You asked him as he was walking beside you. This is not my first time visiting here. Oh, then you can help me exploring more of it. Let's go. Unintentionally, you gripped his hand and ran inside the empty place of rocks, spending time with each other. I didn't remember how time passed so fast. It was already time to go back as it was getting dark now. Jung said, but you insist to stay a little longer until you both heard the ship horn signal. He both thought it was time to go back as he both reached the shore. Just to realize that see, their ship already left. And it's too far, even if you yield, they will never hear you. But the deaf Jungkook, as you turned, you saw the man just sitting on the sand, relaxing. Yeah, why are you so relaxed? They left us here. You must have man do something. He left a deep sigh. Don't waste your energy, they will be back. Remember our names or register. They will possibly come back, finding us it's not the first time. For this, some people were also left here. And they were rescued next in the next day. Then what will you do? Think just relax and explore. He said glaring at you because you are the one who insisted to explore and the ship left. And now you don't have any choice. You also sat beside him. Now you can only hear the shore waves and sun. Birds chirping while watching the sunset. What a view. Seems like I'll not regret this. He thought until the man beside you spoke. We should find the right place for a night. If we don't want to get cold. Now it agreed with him. But now there's some caves on that side. Yeah, but we have to find a suitable one. Not so far and not full of insects or bugs. He lets go. He got up dusting your clothes. The same goes for him. And you both find a suitable cave, but there was nothing to eat and you both were already hungry because of walking too much. Well, let's find fish from the shore. Start running on water. Stopped until the water reached half of legs. He said you can find fishes this easily. And look at your clothes. Face pumped and you realize you, I don't have extra clothes. You came out of water with a powder on your lips. Don't know how you and became director of this car company. You rolled his eyes, but wait, how do you know I'm the director of this company? You fold your arm in front of your chest. Man in front of you gulped and said, You told me yourself. You thought, Did I really tell him? Maybe. Now stop standing there and let's go in the cave or you will get cold. Your half clothes are already wet. You sighed and walked behind him in the cave. Kids, okay, it's getting cold air. You rub your hand together as you notice your wet frog. That is not helping you at all, so you open his shirt button and held it in front of you. He looked up to see him standing in his vest and shorts while handing his shirt to you. No, no, it's okay, you'll get cold, wear it. He shook his head and crunched down to whisper in your ear. 
If you don't wear this, then I perfectly know how to make you wear this. You called and held it while he caught up and moved a little away. He caught up and removed the frog from your head and wore his shirt with that. You were here all this time. So I saw glued to you. Your shirt button were not fully closed. I was fully showing your full life. Till your upper thighs and your jungle. You called him as he came out of his thoughts and went out with his red blushing cheeks. You hopped the pretty towel. I went out buttoning your shirt. It was already dark. The beach was looking so beautiful because all the stars were looking like a Milky Way passing from up there. Well, I didn't regret staying here at all. Hearing your voice as gay shifted to you was mesmerized by the stars and blue water and the sea moonlight falling on it. Yummy too, he whispered to himself. After some minute, the cold wind was blowing. More, that was giving you shivers. But then you flinched when his hot skin came in contact with your. He held your hand that was giving you warmth. It's getting more cold, let's go. You didn't reply to him and walked with him while holding hands. Your heartbeat became fast and fast as he reached inside the cave. Sit here, he gestured to you sit further inside of the cave. But he was about to go out when, but he wished if you can hear. His heart beat that, making him feel a tingling sensation. Stay, sit with me. Your soft melody voice calling him was like you did magic on his mind and heard and controlled his mood. He sat beside you, but you didn't lift his hand. It was giving you a different feeling that you didn't feel before. So, what do you do for a living? You tried to break the silence by questioning. She so hummed and said comfortably, I'm soon to be CEO of my father's company. I came back from US just a while ago, and I completed my studies there. You made an office, but then a question stuck in your mind, and you being a straightforward person didn't hesitate to ask him. Do you have a girlfriend or someone in your heart? You asked with a serious face and lip curved into a little smirk. You will not lie if his kiss doesn't make your knees weak. What if I have? His breath hit your features. That's how close you both were. You followed his guess on your features that stops on your dry lips. You lick your lower lip watching him bite his lower lip. And his arms were full of cattle that made him look more breathtaking. He lowered his lips on your air level. So even though what you're doing, his husky voice was enough to make you. You clench your legs together. That didn't go unnoticed by his piercing gaze. Would you mind if I looked at your lips and asked for your permission? You called and gripped his vest tightly. I'll take it as a yes. He smirked helpful to make you crazy, and your scent was like an addiction to him. He smelled so good, baby. Finishing a sentence, his lips fell on yours. His one hand caressed your side cuffs while the other snaked behind your neck. His lower lip was your upper lip while you did the same. He seemed to be such a good. You can be 100% sure of it. Your grip on his vest loosened as your hand went up to his torso, caressing it. The same way he was caressing your curves, now he was trying to enter his tongue in your mouth, which you accepted not as so hastily. Suddenly, he inside your mouth when your hands went up, caressing his cloth tap. You can feel how hard his chocolate tabs are. It tastes so sweet. He didn't move his lips from your but whispered upon them, and again started to explore your pretty mouth. Your breath was as fast as his as the ball reached your eye. He gave you his shirt. You can cover yourself while he wore his shirt. Suddenly, he picked you up and pet your forehead. But Young shook his head and went out beside the seashore. As it was too hot for both of you now. Let's sit here. He made you sit down in the lab. Your head placed on his chest and both looking at the view. What do you think about us? The question was must now after what happened between you two. He tightened his clip around your vest and back while looking at the stars. I didn't regret even one moment that led me to you. I know it's been just a day since we met, but Sean Wyan, I know you before meeting me yesterday. Your eyes never left his but with curiosity. I'm the hero of Kyun Jung Kyun. Your eyes were not at his words. You are the new CEO. You bite your lip as he nodded. I didn't know what you looked like before, but yesterday I got to know from Dad that it's you. He talks to you about me. Your cute face made him chuckle as he picked your nose. Only you talk now, baby. The way he talks about you, it I already fell for you without meeting me. He bit his lip and nodded while you made some fictional shapes on his chest while talking. And what if I didn't fall for you, Mr. June? You asked just to make his mark white. Except, baby, you're already stuck with me. He connected both of your foreheads that made you smile at how careful and loving he is. No doubt that you already fell for him. Then I guess we belong to each other now. Hmm? Yes, if I make your heart race like no one. 
he playfully said. Oh, then I guess not. We both laughed. As I said, I didn't regret spending the night in care with you. Go oh, with a billionaire. What a flexy man I have. You roll your eyes. I'm all ready to hold your bed for a lifetime, honey. So like me, muscle man, my legs hurt. We both looked at each other and burst out laughing.